wear what makes you happy wear what makes you feel good forget about what others think if you feel like you're a kick ass baddie in your outfit that is all that matters Welcome back to my channel. This is Karina. Today I'm so excited to be styling one of my absolute favorite things ever. I'm going to be giving you guys tips on how to style all kinds of different skirts for the fall. Before we start, I want you guys to leave me a comment down below letting me know what your fall looks like and how cold it is where you are right now. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you're a fan of skirts like I am and let's get right into it. Okay, first up, we are styling a black slit solid mini skirt. This skirt is a staple in my closet because you can actually style it in so many different ways, all four seasons. It will practically match anything that you throw over on top. Whatever basics you have lying around your closet will go with the skirt. But today, I'm feeling a little bit more adventurous, a little bit more rebellious, so I wanted to give myself a challenge in terms of styling something other than your basic simple sweaters on top of a black slit skirt. So I went with the suit cute knit cardigan. I love the print on this. Oh my god, it is so vintage. It is so unique. First of all, I want to thank No Jeans for sponsoring this video. They have these awesome cardigan designs and each of them are so retro, so unique. You definitely can't find these designs anywhere else. I was so drawn to the super colorful palettes that they have. Not gonna lie, at first I was a little bit scared of how I would incorporate all these fun, funky, colorful elements into my fall wardrobe because when you think of fall the colors that pop into my mind are more about like the burnt orange colors muted creams blacks like earth tones but i feel like fall is like the season to experiment with your fashion sense and be a little bit bold and daring and out of the norm with this cardigan right here but i freaking love it as soon as i put it on i was like why did it take me 32 years to start dressing like this? It's so high quality knit. I have yet to find a cardigan that is lined on the inside, but this one is, and it's got like patchwork and custom embroidery all over. I feel like this black and white cardigan really does give a contrast between the black and the white. It also gives that preppy vibe, which I absolutely love for fall. If you think this is too monochromatic for you, feel free to have some pops of gold or pops of silver in your accessories. So over here, I have a loafer with this design that's gold and also my earrings. You can leave it hanging just over your mini skirt like this or you can take a belt and tuck the bottom of the cardigan in and then flip it outwards so it has a cropped look. Got another cardigan from No Jeans. This one is a cream base with this royal blue design and trim. This is one of the more minimal designs and I think it works really well with this black skirt to give that pop of design, that pop of wowness without being too overbearing. All of the cardigans come with this lapel pin that is removable by the way. I love this design. It has no exclamation mark in huge huge letters which is basically my attitude whenever someone tells me to like act my age or like dress my age for this outfit i switched up my footwear to a pair of booties along with giving me a boost of height also gives me a boost of edgy confidence i know a lot of tall girls out there you guys are always asking me karina how can you wear high heels i'm super tall and i can never go out in platform heels i feel like i'll be towering over everyone and my reply would always be wear what makes you happy wear what makes you feel good forget about what others think if you feel like you're a kick-ass baddie in your outfit that is all that matters okay next up we are styling a white pleated skirt like this you guys all know white pleated skirt is one of my favorite skirts in my closet and i don't gaf whether it's 100 degrees outside or negative 20 degrees outside actually no i do care <laughs> if you're in an area where your fall is more of like your summer but less muggy then you can definitely get away with wearing this type of outfit this combo would also work really well for transitional weather this time i went with a super colorful cardi i feel like this is like if you are a color lover this cardigan would be your dream come true it's giving me like a 70s vibe with pockets and all the star embroidery here reminds me of all the star stickers i got in school for being a good girl with a white pleated skirt i feel like it's best to go with something matching on your footwear so in my case i'm just wearing my white sneakers and a tote bag to keep things casual and light because this cardigan is pretty much a statement piece on its own you don't want to be overwhelming it with like other prints or patterns or colors so i like to keep the rest of my outfit pretty neutral i think this might be my favorite piece that i got from no jeans i just love the color palette this lavender it just makes me so happy whenever i see this color and like wearing it and an extra bonus point for it being so comfy on my skin so i'm not wearing anything on the inside and it's not itchy or scratchy at all and i think for this one i got this in the larger size which is size three and i love how the sleeves are longer than the actual length of my arms definitely think this color is very wearable for everyday wear so you stand out in the crowd but you don't stand out in like a bad way i love this one so much 
Okay guys, I wanna, don't forget to check the description box for all the links of everything that I'm wearing in this video. Okay, on to plaid skirts. You guys think that I would just be happy with throwing on a basic white sweater, but I'm not. So I went with the sweater that is super <laughs> unique this time. Okay, I have never seen something like this. And not gonna lie, I'm not sure how applicable <laughs> this is to those of you who are in like cold or warm falls. Because I feel like either way, you'll be either too warm on one arm or too cold in another arm. I'm still gonna keep it on for the sake of fashion. For these type of skirts, you guys get the drift. Any simple white top or cream top would work. Or if you wanna to go deeper into color theory my tip is to pick one of the colors on the plaid patterns here so for example we have this orange color this taupe color and this dark brown color so if you pick something along these color palettes up on top it's gonna match and work beautifully with the skirt these boots are my latest obsession i'm in love with western knee-high boots at the moment and they're so freaking easy to walk in i featured these in a previous video these two are like match made in heaven they're both white base with silver details and hardware on them so they match perfectly almost every single time so we are styling a corduroy skirt same idea as before because the skirt is a brown color and just matched it with a similar color palette top and a plaid shirt that is of the same color family and you don't even have to match it exactly just pick a core color and picture that core color being diluted somehow so it's still within the same color family and color palette in this case I just picture my color palette as a cup of coffee and depending on how much milk I add to the coffee it might be a little bit darker or lighter but it's still within the same color family does that make sense <laughs> Next up we are styling like a cargo skirt. I would still say it's within the pleated cargo skirts family because cargo skirts has elements of the white 2k and the 90s ism I'm pairing it with similar vibes on top So here I have a bolero paired with a white tank top and guys you cannot forget headphones whenever you mention y2k and 90s It seems like headphones need to go hand in hand with this trend Just place it on your neck like this as an accessory. In terms of footwear, I went with my combat boots. So these are my docks, but you can go with any sort of lace up combat boots that you have. Even if you have some platform combat boots, that would look really amazing to you with this look. Next, we have had to style a faux leather skirt. Now this is a faux leather skirt that's beige color and it's also got a pleated pattern. I just have a black turtleneck on top and this combo is pretty much my fall uniform. Whenever I'm styling faux leather pleated skirts, I I always go for something really simple and basic up top so this black turtleneck pretty much goes with everything in your closet and I went with a pair of boots that is also in the same color family as the skirt so they match this way to top things off we have a trench coat it is still not exactly trench coat season out there for me yet but i know for a lot of you guys in europe it has been raining non-stop and being super cold and then in terms of a bag any black bag would do but i just gotta give love to my chanel bag because i feel like i haven't really used her in a while especially for summertime so fall and winter i'm bringing her back out next up we are styling this army green cargo skirt going for a graphic tee on top and this oversized faux leather bomber jacket i would have liked this bomber jacket to be a little bit more oversized but it doesn't come like that so i think it comes as a regular bomber jacket and i had to get it in a size extra large for it to fit like this oversized on me but whatever faux leather jacket you get i recommend you guys grab a bomber style for this fall because it is absolutely huge right now this is a trend that i'm foreseeing will stay for a super long time so i definitely recommend you guys to invest Best in one right now so you can get more use out of it when it comes to footwear I went with my tall combat boots this time and because of the silver buckles here I'm also sticking to silver hardware on my faux leather purse so this purse goes so well with this faux leather jacket as well okay last but not least we are styling a black midi skirt this midi skirt is super duper comfortable and I think it's perfect for fall because the knit material is like a really thick knit but it doesn't cut off your circulation it's extremely stretchy and if you're a fan of midi or maxi hemlines this is your time to shine because they are making a huge comeback this fall styling wise i'm throwing on a black cropped tank top on the bottom and this oversized blazer i'll admit that i am a fanatic for blazers i pretty much have about 20 of them in my closet right now and of all the blazers that i have i have to say hands down my favorite one is a basic oversized 
black blazer. This blazer is double line. It feels really, really comfortable to be in. It has shoulder pads, a little bit, but not too much. And one tip when you're looking for oversized blazers this fall is make sure that the blazer you have is single breasted. We're not looking for anything that's too crazy around here. So this one just comes with one button closure like this. So you want to avoid ones that are too double breasted that closes off like this because it makes it seem a little bit more tight fitting and it's more for professional settings. But this one we want it to be for a more casual, relaxed, everyday kind of blazer basis. Does that even make sense? <laughs> so yeah, my favorites for one blazers will always be single breasted, oversized. I think this all black ensemble is so boss girl. It's so badass, but in a really good way. And I'm just matching it with these booties I recently got. They are so comfortable to walk in despite what they might look like. But in case you find it a little bit too boring for you, you can always throw on a statement belt. So having this over your waist will instantly create the illusion that your legs start from here and it's going to go on for miles and miles while at the same time giving you more of that hourglass shape because the ends of your blazer will tend to go outward accentuating your curves okay if you guys cannot get enough of skirts for fall and winter time i have so many videos dedicated to styling skirts for fall and winter especially skirts with layers including how to wear skirts for the winter time and how to tuck all your sweaters in and how to layer it with all different types of outerwear i'm going to be linking these videos down below so make sure to check them out if you're a fan of skirts let me know if you guys have any questions at all or want me to do a fall essentials video and i will see you in my next video bye i love you all